Hi, how's it going everybody? So I've been thinking some more about this rumored Odyssey live streaming. In particular, what tools could live streamers on Odyssey use? I'm not talking about tools like OBS and FFmpeg. They're obviously going to be using these tools. I'm talking about the tools that streamers on other platforms use that make streams more interactive. Things that push alerts to the stream and donation tickets and things like that. Because most of these tools like Streamlabs, which Twitch streamers use, hook into the Twitch and YouTube APIs. So, I found a potential solution to this problem. Practicing my transitions. That transition could be a little faster. I'm assigning them shortcut keys and trying to use them so that I remember them. Now, I found this cool tool called NodeCG, which is a browser-based broadcast, broadcast graphics and controls engine. So basically you would have a dashboard and a graphics file which you would assign as a OBS uh, source, as a browser source in OBS. Um, now it is possible to use something like Streamlabs, but Streamlabs is very much integrated into Twitch and YouTube APIs. And it's very restrictive. You can only use it for these purposes here. And as for the donations, it only accepts, you know, a few fiat currencies like US dollars. Now I think it's generally a bad thing to assign a US dollar amount to a gift someone gave you, like converting LBC to USD. If someone gave you a Pepsi, you wouldn't say, oh thanks, two dollars. <laughs> you wouldn't you wouldn't do that. That's kind of rude, right? I mean, now I do have this script here which does exactly that. So this script uses the Streamlabs API. What it does here is this goes hooks into the CoinGecko API and grabs the current LBC USD value and then converts it into US dollars and then it goes ahead and it tells Streamlabs. And I can give you an example of that working. See that? Converted it into US dollars. But that isn't ideal. So what we need to start doing is start creating tools for Odyssey live streamers. And NodeCG bundles, I think, is a good way to start creating things for them. Now, the bundle I've started working on, I suck at JavaScript, I can do with some help, please. Um, so this basically allows you to set up as many alerts as you want for any purpose. So I could delete this alert add a new alert and then I'm going to add more options to this at the moment it only has a few options got a layout here duration of the alert you assign it a graphic here sound here font colors I plan to add things like customizing the font and things like that the graphics tab over here is where you would upload the graphics and the sounds at the moment this only supports GIF and WebM. So I can give you an example of that working. I don't have it set up as a browser source in OBS yet. This is still in testing, it's not ready to be used. But neither is the Odyssey live streaming, so hey, got plenty of time. So I made a, this hook into the REST API, so we can just use curl to activate an alert. So basically here we'd give we tell it which alert. That's why you give each alert a name. And you could, as I said, this bundle creates alerts for any purpose. So here we can as you see. That works. Then there's another one. And it queues up the alerts too, so 
notes don't overlap. When that's finished playing, the next one that I just did will play after it. And another thing I need to do is make the alerts fade in and out instead of just pop up and then disappear because that's not going to look very good. So yeah, if you're good at JavaScript and you're very interested in the Odyssey live streaming, um, this is one way you could potentially help out, even if you don't intend on live streaming yourself. And um, another idea for a potential bundle is to have a donation ticker. If you don't know what a donation ticker is, if you look at the top now, I just added one. This one's from Streamlabs. We could create one that works with LBC. That would be really cool. So yeah, how these alerts will be activated is basically by a bot which plugs into the Odyssey chat. We don't know what chat system Odyssey live streaming is using yet, so it's too soon to think about creating a bot for that. But um, we could get the rest of it working, so yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching, just some food for thought, and um, yeah, see you all later everybody.